And this one's a special coconut because it came with a penis. You see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? There it is. Good morning, little sloths. Welcome to a brand new day. I'm here in our lovely little apartment. Oh my gosh, the bird's making noise. I'm about to make a pineapple coconut smoothie creation. And you guys are gonna join me. My sister just made a makeup. I, I can't speak English right now. My sister made a makeup tutorial. I hope you guys like the video that I made. <laughs> Check out her channel if you want to see it. She doesn't have all vegan makeup right now, but she's gonna buy some later. Yeah. She just has normal makeup. She yeah. just went vegan. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See you guys later. For this creation, you need one pineapple. Look at how beautiful this pineapple is. In Spanish, pineapple is called piña. Piña para la niña. And you need one coconut. And this one's a special coconut because it came with a penis. You see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? There it is. Anyways, this is a coconut. It's full of water. I'm gonna use this to make a pineapple coconut smoothie creation. Alright, so the coconut, the pineapple, the coconut water, and a little supplemental water. I added about a cup of supplemental water. They are all in the blender, and now it is time to blend. Oh my gosh, it's done. Well, almost. I have to strain out all the coconut skins and the pineapple flesh and all the garbage that's floating around, but it's pretty much done. It's time to strain. So this is my favorite strainer. It cost me like maybe 30 cents. Oh, that's very thick. This is gonna take forever. I'll see you guys when I'm done with this. Oh shit, look at how slow this is. Right, so here are the leftovers from straining the coconut. Well, there's more here. We're gonna save these for later because we do enjoy eating these coconut scraps in this house. Here is the finished product. It tastes really good because the pineapple was sweet, but if your pineapple is shitty, you can add sugar and it will taste delicious. Here's my little mason jar and I'm gonna pour some smoothie in it. Uh, there was a little chunk in there, a little chunky. All right, that looks beautiful. Time to drink up. My sister's naked, apparently. I'm filming and you just said you're naked. Oh my gosh, this tastes so good. You guys should totally try out this recipe. Basically, I'll <coughs> have some shit in my throat. <coughs> Basically, all you need is one pineapple, one coconut, water, and the coconut water in the coconut. You can add sugar if it's not sweet enough for your taste. Mine is really sweet because the pineapples in Colombia are freaking awesome. But if your pineapples are sucky, like the ones that you get in the US or in Europe, sometimes they're not that good because they're picked too early. But if you're in a tropical country like Colombia, the pineapples are probably gonna be really good because they let them ripen a little longer on the plant and they have more sweetness. Anyways, if you guys try out this recipe, please send me a photo on Instagram or make a YouTube video Video, and I will add your video to my next video or your Instagram photos So if you do make a video or you make an Instagram post, please tag me in it or email me at Here's the email box. Here it is. Here it is or just send me a YouTube message and I will probably see it All right, I'm gonna get back to drinking my delicious pina colada creation. That's not alcoholic All right guys, so we've made it to the end of my day. I'm sorry. This vlog was really shitty but I didn't do much today and I didn't feel too good. Like after I had my coconut thing, like I just started feeling sick. It's not from the coconut thing, of course. It's just, I just haven't been feeling good. Ever since Nick left, you know, I'm, I've been a little sad. And when I get sad, I get sick easily. I just don't feel very good today. But 
thank you guys for watching my video. I'm not showing you my hair because it looks horrible. Like, look at that. I have extremely thin hair. I don't know if any of you has thin hair, but I have very thin hair. And it's mostly because I had an eating disorder. So my hair is just very damaged. I'm very self-conscious about my hair. And part of the reason I'm glad to be with Nicholas is because he doesn't care about my hair. So that's sweet because like, it's good to know that the person you love accepts you for how you look. And I'm not like, you know, Nicholas is like a 10. I'm like a maybe like a 2.1 or 2.2 <laughs> so I'm really happy about that because Nicholas is just such a sweet guy and I'm very lucky to have him in my life and I just love him so much well you guys know that I'm always telling you guys I love Nicholas but I love Nicholas let me just tell you that again anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I'm sorry I'm so boring I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching me and supporting me and I appreciate all your comments. I read most of them and I try to answer a lot of them. So thank you so much. I love you guys and have a great day. I'm talking softly because people are sleeping next door. My, my sister and her boyfriend and I don't want to wake them up. But anyways, I'm talking too much. I'm rambling. Alright guys, bye bye.